Hello viewers, there are a lot of couple who come to ARC with lot of expectation for the parenthood and similarly we get many couple who come with repeated IVF failures outside in the other centers. So they fail due to various reasons and most of them are totally unaware of why they fail. So when we get such couple, we go through their reports and most of the time we find that the uterus preparation has shown good endometrium with vascularity and similarly the embryo that were transferred were also good but still they have repeatedly failed. So when we call repeated implantation failure, we say that they should have at least failed two to three transfers with good quality embryos and totally the transferred good quality embryo should have at least been 10. So when we get such couple and when we understand that the endometrium and the embryo transferred have been good but still the implantation has failed, we suggest them to undergo a genetic evaluation called endometrial receptivity array. So what is endometrial receptivity array or endometrial receptivity assay which is shortly called as ERA mean? is natural menstrual cycle can be regular and the regular menstrual cycle can range between 28 days to 45 days. So there are girls who get their cycles regularly once in 28 days and there are women who already also get the cycles regularly in 45 days. So when they get once in 45 days regularly without consuming any oral pills we still call it as regular menstrual cycle. So with such varied duration, if you see there are girls who get their menstrual cycle at 28 days and few at 45 days, so it is almost around 15 days apart. So when it is like this, we have to understand that it is only one single day in the menstrual cycle where they have the window of implantation open. So it is only on this day that when the embryo enters into the womb, it can get itself implanted into the mother's womb. So when it enters a day before or after, this implantation cannot happen. So that is how it is being programmed in the natural cycle also. The fertilization of the embryo takes place in the fallopian tube and after that the nidation of the embryo happens and two days after the fertilization, the embryo moves itself to the maternal womb and finds a suitable environment for it to implant. So when we mimic the same situation in ART, assisted reproductive techniques such as IVF, ICSI and so on, we try to find out when the window of implantation is open for this particular woman. So what we do, we prepare them in the similar way as we are preparing them for a frozen embryo transfer. We do a routine scan on D2, we give them estrogen replacements and later on supplement with progesterone and instead of transferring the embryo, we take a biopsy of the endometrium for them and subject the endometrial biopsy for chromosomal analysis where more than hundreds of chromosomes genes are being studied and we find out when the receptivity of this particular woman is high. So we get reports such as either saying it's receptive means the day when we have taken the biopsy is more ideal for the women to undergo the embryo transfer. And at the same time, we also get reports which say that it's non-receptive, means the day when we have taken the biopsy is not ideal for transfer. So when I say non-receptive, it can again be pre-receptive or post-receptive. So when it is pre-receptive, it says that the receptivity window of the patient is still not near the day of biopsy. So we further talk to the genetic doctor who has done the ERA test for them. And we understand when probably how close we could be to the window of implantation. We alter the progesterone dosage and the number of days of progesterone based on the gene expression and we then plan the real transfer. But when it says post receptive, it means the window of implantation has happened and the biopsy has been taken after the window of implantation has closed. So again we have a counseling with the genetic specialist and we prepone the embryo transfer for this patient based on the gene expression and we see to that we are closer to the window of implantation on the day of embryo transfer. So it is very essential for all of us to understand that if some women has failed even three times or more than that, this ERA test would do wonders for them and with very good clinician to monitor the endometrial preparation and with very good genetic specialist 
to understand the expression, gene expression and when there is a good communication between the clinician and the genetist, it is very easy for us to prepare this woman close to the window of implantation and have her a successful pregnancy going on. So by doing such methods, we can prevent this woman from going on with the surrogacy program and she can successfully have an ongoing pregnancy with her own womb. So there are more than thousands of patients who have come to ARC who have done this ERA test and benefited. So if you need to know any information about this, you can feel free to get in touch with us and you can post your questions in our comment box session also. Thank you.